No evidence runs in Phasmophobia can be super intimidating, but if you have a good plan of action and know how to test for a lot of the ghosts, then it can become a lot easier and also a lot of fun. So let me show you a great plan of action to take for every no evidence game, as well as how to test for every single ghost and what its ability is. So next time, even if you play your game with regular evidence and the ghost is being stubborn with those dots, you can know how to test for each of those ghosts. So let's start by going over some settings that I recommend. That's going to be a nice mixture between what no evidence is, but not making it like super, super difficult. For a player, start with 100 sanity and have your sanity pill restoration at 25% that's perfectly fine everything else pretty straightforward as far as the ghost changing favorite room i would set it to medium or high we're just going to do medium to help make it a little bit easier so the ghost isn't changing as often but you do want to set it to medium or high because that's the only way to test for agorio have interaction event frequency at low for a higher multiplier grace period is set at two that's just what it is for nightmare you can set it lower or higher to whatever you wish whether you can have it set to random if you want i just have it set to windy number of hiding places you can put low or up to high your preference on whatever you prefer to play with I recommend sandy monitor being on this is a good way to test for a lot of the ghost more accurately by knowing what it your sanity is at and then I prefer to start with the fuse box on at the contract, so it's not as annoying, but again, preference up to you all. All right, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with tier one items. That's right, we're not going to use any fancy items, just the tier one items. We'll get the job done. We'll show you how to do it with this. Obviously, the upgraded items will make it a little bit easier, but we're going to make this a little bit more difficult. So again, our sanity monitor is on. This is going to be important for helping us control where our sanity is and learning if the ghost is going to be an early hunter or not, because that's going to help us eliminate things. So the first step is obviously going to be to find the ghost room. How are we going to find the ghost room? You know, and, there, and there's a few different rules of thought here. We could start with a video camera to look for orbs to do a mimic check because mimics will still have orbs on no evidence. Typically, though, I'm going to do the EMF reader because that's going to help us verify interactions. Thermometer is going to be good for pinpointing the ghost room. And we can just take a flashlight and be fine if we wanted to. And so we're just going to go around and see. And again, so the breaker is on by default here. Um, so we will have to wait for the house to kind of cool down to verify if anything is actually legit or not. So let's go around and see if we can hear any interactions. See if we can hear like any uh, just like that. Okay. Now I got to figure out which door that was. It's like, do I want to leave my thing on the ground so okay so it was this door so is it in the foyer here or is it in the nursery and now that we know where the ghost room is there's a couple different things that we can do so i recommend early starting an on rio uh check so that's going to be one of the first ghosts now you can set salt down to test for a wraith and check for an on Rio. So what I'll do is I'll bring in uh, one thing of salt. I'm not going to bring in all my salts and set it all in the room because what if the ghost moves rooms and we have to try to get it there later. So just putting a couple in there and we're going to take a crucifix and we're going to, uh, well, I left my flashlight in my inventory. So we're just going to take that for now. And so a couple easy things to test for right away is going to be uh, Wraith. Onrio and Mimic. I recommend doing the Onrio check early. Alright, so what I may do is leave that there. And then leave that there. Just to see. You want to typically set up motion sensors too. But let's see if it steps in at first. It does. Okay, and this is where it's going to be really important to start ruling out ghosts. As soon as you see something. Can't do. Stepped in salt. Can't be a wraith. Rule it out. First and easy check. That's a really early ghost event there, so probably not going to be a shade, considering our sanity is uh, fairly, fairly high. So. This is what a wraith would look like. You'd think it'd be, okay, yeah, it set off the motion sensor and did not go through the salt. So that's like the best way to tell that, that it is a wraith. Uh, you do want to kind of also maybe leave the light off in the ghost room to check for a mare, see if it will ever turn on the light. Because if a ghost turns on a light, we can rule out a mare. We're getting kind of close to Thay range, where that could have been a Thay. Could have been an Oni as well, because Onis will drain a lot of your sanity for uh, ghost defense. So, do have that one thing in there, and then we want to take in our candles. And the reason why we want to check for Onryo early is because our sanity is high. 
So, uh, and Onrios can hunt you at any percent sanity after it blows out three candles. That's why we're going to try this early. That's why we're going to try this early. Um, we can also rule. Look, we can also check for orbs right quick as well. So. Because my sanity is getting kind of low, I think I'm going to go ahead and get that up. Just so we're not risking a Thay hunting or a demon hunting right now. We're going to have our sanity up right at about 100. And, it, you know, it'll probably get back down pretty quickly. So we'll take a video camera. We'll take a smudge stick. And we will take a match stick. So we can check for orbs right away. If it's a mimic, it will have ghost orbs on no evidence. This does not have orbs, so we can rule out a mimic. Here's a mimic's ghost orbs on no evidence. Oh, there it is. It is a mimic. Let's go. And honestly, with how early of a ghost event that was with the vent set to low, we can really kind of rule out a shade. And with it throwing things with us in the room. Um, it did turn off the breaker. But again, that's another important thing to rule out because we know that if the ghost did turn off the breaker which it did it's not going to be a gin again whenever you see something rule out gin we could have brought in a camera to check for a phantom i think we may go do that right quick just in case it ghost events again we can try for a picture of it to rule out a phantom you can also rule out a phantom during a hunt Put that there, put that there, put that there. So now we don't want to mess with any of these candles anymore. We can set that there in the middle of the room. And all we want to do is now look at it and hope that the ghost, if it's an Onrio, it's going to blow out the three candles. Hopefully use the crucifix to hunt us, to prevent the hunt. But it could hunt if it was in just out of range of this crucifix. But we'll see. We can also take a picture of the salt. Okay, one, you do not want to relight it. You do not want to activate any other igniters, nothing. Leave the flames as they are. Uh, because if you, uh, if there's another flame in the area, it's going to mess it up after the third blowout. If you relight it, it could, it just gonna cause confusion. So get your three candles, light them, and then have it stop. So, uh, say we could potentially take a picture of it. It was still giving off an interaction. Nope. It was probably picking up something else. I forgot to take a picture of it in time. Oh, well. We'll ignore that. We're not trying to get a perfect game. I just want to show you uh, sort of how to test for it. really don't want to sort of lose my sanity that that much. Because, again, sanity is important. We don't want to try to lose it. But I don't want it to be like a mare and roam out of the light. Which it may. I don't think it changed rooms. Maybe it did. I don't know which door that was. Okay. So it blew out that one. Now all we need is this one. Now with tier one candles, it's kind of annoying because it can time out. So hopefully it'll blow this one out. I feel like if it was an Onria though, it would have already blown out these candles. Yeah, we got that interaction photo. Doesn't matter, but I feel like, there we go. Is it gonna hunt? I feel like that crucifix should be in range if it hunts. Since it is not hunting, we can go ahead and rule out an Onrio. This is what an Onrio blowing out candle hunt looks like. That right there. Textbook Onrio. <laughs> I know we can sort of check to see what our sanity is at. Now we're going to try to... There's not really much more you can kind of test for now at this point before just getting into a hunting range. Now, if it is a Thay, we probably have aged it some. So that is one thing to consider. We're almost in range for where a yokai could, you know, talk to it, do that stuff. Uh, but out of everything that's available, Ure, we're just hoping if it, if we see its ability or not, there's nothing we can really rule out a Ure for. This is the Ure's door slam ability. Notice the double door touch sound and how it goes completely closed. Good. We just threw something though. I guess that was my fault. Oh my God, it's a Ure. 
ghosts. Yurais are also the only ghosts that can interact with the front door outside of a hunt or ghost event. There's stuff. Just did it again! Um, that has not done an airball ghost event. It's still been in the same room, so it could still be a Gorio. A few other ghost tests we can try here. First, it's going to be the mare test. The only thing you can do is flick on a light switch and hope it immediately turns it off like this. On. Oh, let's go. It's a mare. What I also failed to do here, and what you can also do, is put a lot of items into the room to make a big pile in hopes to check for a poltergeist, which would explode it like this. Make it. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, like so we're just sort of gonna wait to get our sanity down and see if the ghost will hunt us we can check to see if it's going to be a banshee scream which sounds like this just sort of stand in the stay in the dark just so we can get to hunting range mares will hunt you at 60 percent sanity in the dark onrios will hunt at 60 percent sanity but we already tested for the onrio yeah, so we can get it down like just a little bit more. We're right around 60, which would help to rule out early hunters. I don't think it's going to be a Moro either, though, because we did have the uh, Whisper and we our sanity is still normal. Like it's not draining any faster. So I'd say we're probably good to rule out a Moro here. Um, Thais has been super active. It did that one ghost event early, but has not really done anything since. Yes, yeah, so, so we're right there in the middle to, for an early hunter and probably... You know, based on the fact that it has not really hunted, I don't think it's going to be a Raiju. And I don't think it will be a demon. I'd be shocked if, if it's a demon. I will say that. Now, it is possible. I'm going to go ahead and rule it out at least. We kind of want it to hunt now. Oh, my God. Which one did it use? That one? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Good lord, that's a mare. Well, no, it's it's a mare's just a thing. We know it's not a phantom. This is what happens when you take a picture of a phantom. Right. We are in hunting range. Which probably rules out a Diogen, maybe. Oh my god, we did not get the ghost pick. It did a burnt crucifix. Okay. It's not a phantom. The flash still would have caused the phantom to disappear. All right, not a miling because we hear it before we see our thingy, our flashlight malfunction. It is a child. Okay, that will be a yokai because it never came over to us. I forgot that the ghost was a child, which makes this really annoying. So next, let's play some of the different ghost footstep speeds so you can get acquainted to that.
we want to look for four things for an Oni, Jin, Obake, or a Phantom. Phantom, now this requires you to look at the ghost model during the hunt. But I believe you can do it. Just look at it very closely. Then smudge it and go to the hiding spot, all right? Uh, that, that's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. The shape shift. Oh my god, we got so lucky to see that. That's what we are looking for. We're looking for Obake shape shift, which is super hard to get because there's only a 6.66% chance of seeing that. Also, side it's my favorite ability in the game. I always love seeing it. Uh, we were going to be looking for an Oni if it was super more visible than normal. If it was a gen, it would speed up coming towards you and then slow down right before the end. That's a gen. That phantom, you're not going to see the ghost model as much. It's very noticeable. And also start a smudge timer as soon as you smudge after that. That can check for a demon or a spirit. And it was a yokai, and that's why I say that hunts are important at finding out a lot of the ghosts because you can eliminate a lot just based on the hunt. And we can take the same order of testing for ghosts and we can apply it to a lot of no evidence games. Here, for example, we find out that the ghost room is in the basement. So the first thing we check for is orbs. We do not see any orbs. So we know we can rule out a mimic. Place the salt, ghost steps in the salt. We can rule out a wraith. Then we set up an Onryo test while our sanity is high. Ghost blows out the three candles. It does not hunt. We can rule out Onryo. We then start creating a pulti pile just in case. The ghost also does a couple ghost events, which leads me to think it's not going to be a shade. We have the paramic to check for any screams or noises, and we're in the dark trying to drain our sanity to get into hunting range when all of a sudden this happens. Let's go! <laughs> So if we needed to get in a hunting range and listen to hunts, observe the ghost, we could. And if you want to get better at that, click or tap the screen now. As I go over ways, you can better learn how to not be as scared during hunts. Thank you so much to all the channel members for the extra support. Happy hunting, everybody. And I'll see you in the hunting video.